new multimodal language model from china is quite amazing it's called quen vl chat and we are going to discuss about this model my experiments with this model and how you can run this model for free on google collab first of all to start with let's learn a little bit about this model this model is called quen vl and quen is an abbreviation for a, a very long name so quen large vision language model is the visual multimodal version of a large language model series they've got the quen model other than this but this is quen vl so quen vl is uh, developed or uh, proposed by alibaba cloud it's a very big tech company if you are not familiar with so quen vl accepts image text and also bounding box as inputs output text and bounding box so if you are not very familiar with bounding box this is bounding box so you can also give bounding box ex box as an input so quen vl chat quen vl are the two versions of model that they have released one is the normal model the second one is the chat model where you can actually chat and have conversation with the model in itself what we are going to do in this video is to learn how to run quen vl on google collab notebook so to simply do that like the easiest version for us that is once again an amazing collab notebook from kemendru so we're going to go to the kemendru's repository and click this open in google collab once we click click open in google collab we are going to just click this and run all this is going to run the model from model scope which is a very popular uh, kind of like transformers equivalent coming from the china world but yeah we are going to install model scope and we are going to run this particular model and we are going to run the quantized version of this model to be honest once we run this model then it will actually give us a link the gradio link once you click the gradio link that will take you to a web application like this this is the place where you can go chat with this model i'm going to start with what all things that i chatted what i find this model can do good what i find this model may not be able to do good which also could be because we are running a quantized model we are not running the full model in itself to start with i uploaded a very recent chess match game of mine where i actually lost the match so i scored like i my time ran out my opponent's time is like still 9 seconds is there and very clearly as you can see here uh, the game is in progress but um, the game is in progress in terms of chess like there is no checkmate there but still um, the opponent has won because of the time so i uploaded this picture and i said describe this picture for me and it said this is a screenshot of a chess game being played on a tablet okay i think somehow due to the aspect ratio it considered it to be tablet the board is in the middle of the screen and it shows the first move of the game which is not correct there are several pawns knights bishops and other pieces on the board which is quite correct i can see pawns i can see bishop i can see knight the rook is there as well the queen and kings are there below the board there is a timer and score keeping for the game which is also correct the score keeping is happening here and there is a timer that is this is correct but still it said it is a first move of the game which is not true okay not very perfect but it has done a decent job next one is i said okay any idea who is winning this is a chat model which means i can have a chat with this it said it is difficult to determine who is winning based on a single screenshot the game is still in progress and any number of moves could change the outcome so i expected it to see the current position and you know run some kind of stock fish or something and then come up with this answer but it didn't do it okay anyways i moved on next i uploaded a gif or gif which is actually uh, indicating gradient descent so it said an animation of gradient descent method predicting the structure for casp 13 target 1008 now if you already got amazed by the fact that it read an animation and then it has figured it out uh, i'm sorry to say that i didn't figure this out from this animation but it does a very good job in reading the text the ocr part so it literally read the text that is available on the animation still impressive the ocr is impressive nothing to take it away from that but the fact that it didn't read the animation it's just from the text is something that i wanted to highlight the ocr is pretty good like it has managed to read all every single character from the gif which is again impressive maybe it has taken a single frame and then it's done so i said explain that i'm like 5 so it said okay this picture is showing a computer program that helps scientists figure out the shape of a protein which is correct the protein is like a jumbled up puzzle piece and the computer program uses a technique called gradient descent to help it figure out the most likely shape of the puzzle piece the picture is a bit complicated but it is like the computer is trying different shapes and using this technique to figure out which shape is most likely which is again a very accurate description of what it is that's what 
this is from alpha fold so it has done a very good job the next thing i did is i uploaded a meme and asked it to explain the miss meme to me this is a meme that i in fact created and very surprisingly it didn't figure out the meme so it says this meme features a park setting with three people to the left there is an image of an older man with white hair and hat wearing a coat in the center there is a man colorful jumpsuit and there is a right side man again an old man wearing hat and suit but it didn't do a good job except doing a very good ocr here once again detecting it is meta ai in fact like it decided to tell me something in china to interpret open ai logo anyways not not a good job the next one i uploaded the picture and i said what does this picture say it says this picture says miss excel i said any idea what that could mean again once again if you notice it understand the context i didn't have to say what is this picture telling about all i said is any idea what that could mean so it understands that refers here to this miss excel picture so based on the image alone it is difficult to determine the exact meaning behind the phrase miss excel but it could be the name of a podcast or video series or simply a username individual who uses excel and shares their knowledge on the platform it's it's actually quite closely accurate to be honest this is a picture of a person who creates excel related videos on tiktok and instagram i'm not sure if on youtube but it has managed to figure out that this could be a content creator who could be sharing knowledge so i was truly impressed by what it had figured out the next thing is i uploaded this meme and they said like this technically says what if i'm the most popular meme and i don't know even know it i said explain this meme once again a tremendous job it says this meme features a still from the movie kianu i don't know if there is a movie called kianu but anyways it says it's from the movie kianu with the character kianu reeves from the movie the matrix with the text what if i am the most popular meme and i don't even know it so it does the ocr very well it understands this is kianu reeves but i'm not sure if it is from the movie kianu but i assume that it explained the meme to me the next one that i uploaded is a very interesting picture i uploaded this particular chart this chart basically says what do people die from causes of death globally in 2019 it has got a lot of text in it so i assume that this text is going to help quen in uh, understanding what is happening so i uploaded this image and said what does this chart say can you give me some insights it says this chart compares the number of deaths from various causes in 2019 which uh, kind of is already there in the text but it is still impressive The top cause of death is heart disease with 33% of deaths due to heart attack strokes and cardiovascular diseases which is again very true and what was impressive for me is that it did not just read the data it said this is the top one that is something that i am really proud about because we know as a human being that when we see a tree map we know that is what is described here or you can take the numbers and you can do a comparison and it managed to still do the particular job very well so it says the top cause is 33% and then the second leading cause of death is cancer 18% and the third most is cause of resp- death is respiratory diseases with th- 3.9% so you can see 33% 18% but it missed the 7% here so it didn't do a good job in detecting the third most common cause the last column it goes and total number of deaths globally is 227.7 million so if you see 27.7 million it's not there and in fact you can see that the total number of deaths in 2019 is 55 million once again it's a miss but still quite impressive that it managed to give us certain information i think overall it has done a tremendous job in terms of benchmarks i think quen is quite amazing if you see the benchmarks they have shared quite a bit of numbers and quen vl and quen vl chart is always somewhere at the top if you see flamingo has been like one of the biggest model that everybody has been aspiring to hit and the flamingo 80 billion parameter model scored 81 or oh sorry 31 points in visvis zero shot while quen has scored 38 in quen vl chart and um, on the other benchmarks like for example okvqa Flamingo 80 billion parameter model has scored 50 Quen VL chart has scored 56 while Quen VL uh, the 7 billion parameter model imagine this is 80 billion parameter model and this is a 7 billion parameter model has scored 58 so Quen is like literally crushing every single state of the art uh, that is available and uh, we have got some previous state of the art numbers as well but i think Quen is quite amazing a lot better than blip2 lot better than uh, instruct blip lot better than flamingo 
I'm definitely looking to try it out or do a comparison video between Edifix, the one that we compared a couple of weeks back, which is another multi-model model, open source model and Quinn, and then see how does it do. But I think Quinn is one of the best multi-model model that is available, especially the fact that this is available at a 7 billion parameter size and uh, there are versions that are available for you to run it on Google Colab is quite amazing. I'm looking forward to hear your comments about Quen. I'm linking all the required links in the YouTube description for you to get started. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.